Let's go through my Chicago scores. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And as I mentioned in the pre-intro intro, or should I say intro pre-intro, I don't know. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are going to be taking a look at all of my scores from my recent Chicago trip. Now, for those of you that are unaware, I recently visited Chicago for a few days with my buddy Waylon, and we were up to no good. That's right. Secrety secrets. And honestly, I didn't expect to come back from Chicago with anything aside from maybe some goofy little novelties from like a gas station or a roadside stop. However, I got a pretty decent amount of stuff and really cool stuff at that. So in today's video, we are just going to go through this bag of goodies that followed me back from the Chicago trip and talk a little bit about each piece. Are you ready? Here we go. Alrighty, so first up, right on top here, this is probably the most different item in the package, so we will go ahead and talk about that first. I will set the rest of the items to the side there, and we can focus on this, which is obviously a white, we are not your kind clown with some tape over the mouth. Now, what exactly is this besides a white, we are not your kind clown with tape over the mouth? Well, this is actually an oddball clown that my buddy Paul J. Vick threw together. So, oddly enough, Paul was actually working on this clown for me as a surprise to send in for like a mailbox Monday or something when he saw that I was somewhere around Chicago and he got a hold of me. Turns out he was like 20 minutes away from the place that we were staying, so he decided to swing on through, gave me a hug, and gave me this clown. Now, there is some significance to this. This clown. It isn't just a white we are not your kind clown with tape over the mouth. This is actually an oddball clown that clown did post on his Instagram account. So pretty cool. Now this is actually a Lonnie sculpt that Paul is producing. So if you guys would like to go pick one up, I would highly, highly recommend going and checking Paul's stuff out. He offers a wide variety of finishes on these and he offers everything from these economy plastics to a nice, hard, thick, cast. That's what she said. So super shouts to Paul J. Vic. It is always good to see my buddy and get a hug from the man himself. And I will be dropping his information down below if you guys want to go pester him for some stuff like this. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and set the white we are not your kind clown to the side and we can hop back on into the bag full of goodies and pretty much everything from this point on goes hand in hand. So let's see what we've got. Okay. Okay, that is a human tongue. Not sure how that got in there, but regardless, we shall continue. So, looks like we've got some t-shirts right here, and these t-shirts come courtesy of Perry's Music Museum. We've got this nice black and white t-shirt right here with the giant logo right there on the front. And we have got a, another t-shirt with a pocket print logo, the same logo, right there on the front. And then on the back, we've got the big logo again. Very, very cool. I love black and white t-shirts, but I really love pocket print t-shirts. Those things have my heart. I absolutely love pocket print t-shirts. So I will definitely be putting those to use. We've also got a bag full of smaller Perry's Music Museum goodies here. We've got pins. There's the pins there. We've got all kinds of patches, just different colorways all the way across the board. And then we've got stickers and magnets and stickers and magnets and stickers and magnets. Stickers and magnets galore. Stickers are my favorite thing in the entire world, so I will definitely put those to good use. Now, there might be some of you guys watching this video and wondering what exactly is Perry's Music Museum. And for those of you that missed it, I actually uploaded a full in-depth walkthrough of the Perry's Music Museum a few days back on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I would highly, highly recommend going and checking it out because that place is just nothing short of incredible. He is a fellow mask and music memorabilia collector who just has it figured out. I'm telling you, this is the first and only time that I have ever walked into someone else's collection room and just been speechless. No joke, it took me like 10 full minutes of walking around and surveying the scene to even start speaking 
speaking to people when I was in that room because I was just so captivated by everything. The presentation and the display was just on a different level and I am incredibly jealous of how everything reads in that room. So Perry's Music Museum is a very mushroom head based collection and even though I am not the biggest mushroom head fan in the world, not even close. I am still just absolutely blown away by this place. It is amazing. I'm telling you guys, it's just on a different level and you guys should definitely go show them some love. I will be dropping their information down below. And obviously they just gave us a bunch of goodies and those goodies are only here to complement the actual main piece of this video. So for those of you that did see that video, you may remember that as I was filming, I kind of ended a scene panning down and zooming in on a very specific mushroom head mask and oddly enough somehow the next day I ended up with that piece in my possession so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out now and tell you guys a little bit more about it after I show it to you Ooh, ah, look at that. Yes, that is exactly what you think it is. This is an original OG X face mask from Mushroom Head. This is a Bronson mold, and this is my absolute all time favorite paint up on any sort of Mushroom Head masks. This line of the white X faces with the red detailing and little hints of blue all over just do something for me. I absolutely love these things, and man, oh man, am I stoked on this one. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably watching this and thinking, ah, oh, but you don't like Mushroom Head. You man, and then the other. Yeah, I get it. I'm not the biggest fan of Mushroom Head. In fact, I actually have some personal issues with many members of the band. I don't like a lot of the music, and to be honest, I don't like a lot of the masks. However, there are some songs that I can tolerate, and there are even some songs that I do enjoy. And there are most certainly some masks from Mushroom Head that I enjoy as well. This obviously being one of them. But regardless, Mushroom Head has had a pretty big impact over the last 30 years in mask and theatrical music. Regardless of how I feel about certain members or my own personal preference on the music, you still have to respect what they have done and how concrete they have solidified themselves in the mask scene. So with that thought in mind, I was definitely in a mushroom head mood being surrounded by all of those mushroom head masks for a few days. And on our last full day there, I decided to ask David if he ever sold anything out of his collection. David said, no, not really. But he wanted to know if there was something in there that I I wanted. And I said yes, because I had my eye on this thing all weekend and I really, really wanted to buy it to kind of commemorate the trip. I figured if there was ever a time to bring a strictly mushroom head related piece straight back to the House of Masks, and I'm not talking about the mini devils or the mini vampires, I'm talking about a full on mushroom head mask. I figured the time would be when I visited one of the biggest and nicest mushroom head mask collections in the world. So I really wanted to purchase this piece. However, David said that he didn't really sell anything, and instead, he just gave it to me. He literally said, it's yours. At first, I just couldn't believe this act of kindness. I was thinking, what the fuck, man? What did I do to deserve that? But it turns out he's just a really, really solid dude. And as collectors on the level of collecting that we are, we just have like this crazy mutual respect. And he was like, yeah, I would love for that piece to go home for you and be in your collection. So that is exactly what happened. Now, as you can see, this thing is the real deal. It has a lot of miles on it, a lot of character. It is definitely used and abused and torn up and I really, really love it. So, the House of Masks gets a full-on mushroom head piece to commemorate the trip to Perry's Music Museum and to finally show some acknowledgement for Mushroom Head because, yes, even though I feel how I feel about them, I do respect them enough to show something like this in the building, and I feel like it's honestly kind of long overdue. My history with Mushroom Head is becoming more and more entangled as time goes, and honestly, I've been dealing with them for like the last 12 years. So it just is what it is at this point. So yeah, there are my scores from the Chicago trip. Definitely not bad since I didn't expect to come home with anything besides some stupid stickers from a gas station. Super, super stoked on all of this stuff and a massive, massive shout out to everybody that made all of these pieces possible. That is Paul J. Vick and David and Sheila from Perry's Music Museum. Now again, I will be dropping not only Paul's information down below, but the Perry's Music Museum information 
information as well. They have just started an Instagram account for their stuff, and I definitely think that you guys should go check that out. So all the links will be down below, and with all of that being said, I think it's time to go ahead and show all these pieces off up close and in detail. So until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to mushroom head. And we will see you guys in the next one.